Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is July 22nd, 2022. And today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, Tesla can gap and go and then go even higher. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. Looking at the major economic events of the day, lots of stuff coming out. First, starting out at 10.15, South African time out of the Eurozone, French flash services PMI numbers coming out. And then at 10.30, German flash manufacturing and services PMI numbers coming out. And then 11.30, out of Great Britain, we have a flash manufacturing and services PMI numbers coming out. And lastly, out of the United States, flash services PMI numbers coming out of 4.45. Now, looking at the various markets, starting out the fork symbols, the euro sells off while the majors follow. Looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ, both extending their gains, commodities, gold hits, support, but then bounces off of it, and oil retracing. Looking at the stocks, Amazon steadily climbs and Bitcoin remains steady. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trade. So we're going to first start out with the euro usd you can see that it's all covered up here behind these look at these bars i mean in intraday trading i don't remember seeing this over the past five years where we've been in such a volatile area i mean we are trading in between 100 pimps intraday for the euro usd and this is going back to 2013 and this may be a sign that the euro is coming back in terms of volatility i mean we we, we didn't do much but we did trade in, in a very volatile level yesterday we first spiked then we sold off we spiked back and then you know as we're kind of settling here at supportish level this 10197 is finding itself supporting jumping off of that 30-day moving average However, if it does break that, we could possibly see it correct itself on the downside. So keep that in mind. Looking at the GBP, pretty much following suit, and the Australian dollar also just following its lead and retracing here. Okay, Aussie dollar is still very strong versus the USD vis-a-vis -vis the other pairs. Now looking at gold, all right, this is exactly what happened yesterday. Look at this, crazy moves. We sold off down to that soft support, okay? at 1679 and then we're bouncing off of it and bouncing off of it big and rallying back so that was a beautiful play if you got a hold of it yesterday look at that look at that massive volatility yesterday so keep that in mind today we are at that middle level not much doing here okay it's really just uh, a matter of let's see if it can sustain itself at this area looking at crude oil we're trading at 97.67 we did retrace from 100 to $95, a decent intraday play, uh, but then we made ourselves back at $97. So pretty much just a, I guess you could show a retracement and then a bounce back. Looking at the Dow Jones trading at 32,000, a big comeback for the Dow Jones. Remember, we were trading just at 30,000 almost a week and a half ago. So that is a big, big, big comeback. For the Dow Jones, looking at a daily, we're still below our 200-day moving average, but that still is very significant here as this is making its way. Now, looking at the NASDAQ, also did hit itself at 12,500, showing some life coming back. Now, it's the stocks that are bringing back to life. If we look at the specific stocks, Amazon, look at that. I mean, from July 14th, which is just almost less than... What, what is that, six days ago, seven, eight days ago, to where we are right now, it rallied over 16 points, okay? Now, this is not a small stock. This is a major, major component. So for it to go this much, it's almost 10%, right? Uh, for it to go up this much is quite significant. And if you look at it, it might not be sustainable because what happens is, is that in the sell-off times, there's more selling off than there is on the upside in terms of the volume, if you look at the volume spikes here at the at the bottom, it's only when it's selling off that it's making these spikes. This is a spike, that's a major spike. You know, so this may not be real for all intents and purposes. Okay, um, uh, this may be something where we're looking into, you know, just pushing it higher than to take it lower later. Okay, so keep that in mind as this is still unfolding. Now looking at Tesla, this is beautiful. This is what I was talking about on the Facebook Live. We were trading between this range and this range. And I said, as soon as it pops out, well, either one, it's gonna make a significant move. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Once we gapped up to seven, 
70-ish level. We went to 814. That's a nice $35 move intraday. Now looking at the other com major components, Apple still climbing as well to 155, a nice extension to that. And if we look at Microsoft, didn't budge so much higher. This is disconcerting. Okay, so we do have major uh, corporate earnings coming out next week. So keep that in mind as this is still unfolding. Now, also, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, trading at 23,000. It's steady, not retracing, but not going up higher either. So at this rate, I mean, I, I you know, I, it's hard to, when, you, when it, you're in the middle of a move, either on the upside or the downside, it's hard to really pick a spot and say, or, or have so much conviction in one side or the other. When in doubt, just, you know, it's going to go lower. But, you know, if it does sustain itself here, we could see a further spike. And that's really on the greater market and has some uh, pressure from there. So this is Fred Rezac. I want to wish you guys a great trading day and a beautiful weekend. Thank you.